Hello everyone, this is Mrs. Mess Hall, and on this channel I like to go over different cooking techniques and strategies that will help you make your home cooked meals over the top. So if learning how to cook sounds at all interesting to you, please hit the subscribe button so you can see more of my videos just like this one. So let's get started. Today we're going to be making an Instapot meatloaf with asparagus and potatoes. So we're going to go ahead and dice half of an onion and then it can go straight into our bowl that we're going to mix everything together along with one pound of ground beef. I like to use 80-20 because I think it has a good fat content. Then we're going to put all of our spices together and that can just go straight on top along with some Worcestershire sauce, one egg, some milk, and, and our breadcrumbs. Then we're just going to go ahead and mix it all together. You want to be careful not to over mix as you will end up with a tougher product. And once everything's mixed together, we're just going to let it sit in the bowl to kind of firm up for 10 minutes. Now I've got my golden potatoes. I told you guys I love these. We're just going to go ahead and quarter these. Uh, Now to make our meatloaf topping, uh, traditionally it's either served with ketchup or gravy. I like to make a barbecue sauce, so I just go ahead and start up with some ketchup, some Worcestershire sauce, some Dijon mustard, and now our brown sugar. So we're going to go ahead and put our potatoes in the bottom of our Instapot. And we're just going to make sure that those are well seasoned, so salt, pepper, garlic, uh, a couple knobs of butter. Then our, then we're going to add half a cup of chicken stock, and I just like to sprinkle some Parmesan cheese on top. Then our circle rack is going to be placed directly on top of the potatoes. And now we're going to go ahead and form our meatloaf. We have to do it in a, like a foil pan that we're going to make ourselves, so that way the juice of the meatloaf doesn't drip on top of the potatoes. Then our meatloaf is going to go straight into the Instapot right on top of that rack. So it's important when forming the meatloaf that you want to make sure that it's small enough to fit in the Instapot. <laughs> So now we're just going to put the lid on and make sure that the vent is under seal and then we're going to turn it on to manual for 25 minutes. So now I'm just going to prepare some asparagus to go along with this. We're going to cut off the bottom inch of all of our asparagus and then with a peeler, peel the skin off of the bottom of the asparagus. Peeling the bottom of the asparagus helps get rid of that tough stringy texture that comes with asparagus. Then we're just going to cut them in inch long segments. So after the 25 minutes we're going to turn the vent to open and just let the Instapot depressurize before taking the lid off. Now we're going to turn our Instapot to saute and this is how we're going to cook our asparagus. We're going to go ahead and put like a tablespoon of butter in the bottom of our Instapot and wait for that to melt and once it's all good and melted we're going to add in all of our asparagus and let that saute for about three minutes. And now we can plate our Instapot meatloaf. And this is why I love the Instapot. You get a great homemade meal all in one pot. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. See you next week.